Great. Now I'm going to take a darker brown, and it comes from my five pack, the one I like to call quad, um, the Dior uh, Five Colors in Maasai Beige. I just love this brown, and I love the colors there. I'm going to go back to the first small angle brush, the one I was working under my eye with. Again, pick up the product. Oops, bring it over so you can see it. Pick up the product, tap the excess off, and then I'm going to go into the inner rim. I'm going to get down to the get down. Going in there, rocking it out, placing it in there. I want it to look smoldery and sexy. Again, without looking too hard. See that? The difference. Without putting anything, without lining in the inside, it sort of looks a little more doughy, a little bit more innocent. When you start rimming the inside of the eye, it looks more smoldery, it looks sexier. Um, neither are wrong. Um, they're just different effects. I want smoldering, smoldery and sexy for tonight and to show you. Okay, again, picking up the product, tip, tapping the excess off. Getting down under. So I'm bringing that shadow, the darker color down, blending it in to the original color. And we start to create a sort of smoky effect. Um, so now I'm going to curl my lashes. This is a very essential part of um, any look that you do on your eye. Curling your lashes. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the top cage. You see how I'm losing this thing? I'm putting pressure and I'm jutting the lash bed out. And then I'm gently closing. I'm gently touching down to make sure I don't have any skin. And I do not. And I'm going to squeeze. And I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then I'm going to gently open and come out a tiny bit. Squeeze again. Tiny bit. Squeeze again. And again. Now, you see I'm my motion is like this. This is the key ingredient to getting the perfectly curled eyelash, and it will rock your world and it'll change everything. Okay, again on the other side. You can't get too much instruction on this, to be honest. All right, I'm jutting it out, you see that? Pushing it, you see that pink thing? <laughs> That's my under lid area and I'm going to gently close. Oops, I got too close, so I know because I'm not squeezing, I'm just gently closing. Oh, I don't want to do that, so now I'm going to squeeze it two, three, four, five times and then once and then once and then once. That ensures that, I'm just throwing things around over here, that ensures that I get a curl and the bend, the initial bend is going to start to and be initiated at the base of my lash so I can take full advantage of the <laughs> minuscule length of my lashes, okay? So if you have shorter lashes, you definitely want to start at the base. If you have really long, ridiculously black and thick, dense curly lashes, you can ignore this whole part um, and you're blessed. But we're blessed because we have contraptions like this. So anyway, most girls that I know need this and more importantly, need to know how to use it. Oh, and by the way, this is the Shui Moria Lash Curler. This is the lash curler of all lash curlers. I really have tried so many, and I will continue to try them. I'm not saying that there's something that can't be superior or is not possible, um, but thus far I have not tried it, nor have I needed to, because I feel like this gives me my dream eyelashes. Okay, once again, don't be afraid to do it a couple times if that's what you need to do because sometimes you do because lashes can be really stubborn. And get it on there. Beautiful. Now we're going to apply some mascara. I really was hoping to be able to do these in less than 10 minutes, but it seems nearly impossible. All right, let's get some mascara going. Starting at the base of the lashes. I'm working to the tip, towards the tip. And getting 
Now, it's nice to get separation and to also, for me, I'm going to try to pull them down. They're quite curly on the corners there. I'm going to pull them out so that gives me a longer extension and it sort of elongates my eye. And who, who doesn't want that? Some of you guys already have it naturally. But still, you probably appreciate it. Okay, so at the mesh bed, up to the tips. Trying to lengthen these out here. My mirror's kind of far away from me. I should probably be closer to a mirror. Um, but there, you see, it's already starting to really come together. Um, let me, oh, okay. Let me see what's going on here. I got them really curled. I gotta put my, sorry, covering it up. I have to put a mirror up closer to my face so I can really see what's going on. I kind of have no business doing any of this with that mirror. Although the mirror's all the way back behind my computer. How am I supposed to see? Okay. Get this on. Uh, I think what makes this look great. Oh, oops, see? I got a little something there. Let me work it off quickly. Um, if you're using, I think I mentioned this before, but if you're using waterproof mascara, which I am using and I really like, um, you gotta get, if you get it on your skin, you gotta get it off quickly. Because um, no good will come from leaving it on there too long, because then you're gonna have a little bit of a, you can get through it, but it's really hard to sort of repair that. Now that's a, not that you can't, and I think I mentioned that I'm gonna show you guys in an episode. But not now. Mascara on the bottom lashes really brings this together. Sorry, I won't cover up my whole face. And you can get that mascara off. Get it on your skin. It's very easy to do as well when you are wielding that wand rigorously like I tend to do because I'm trying to hurry up for y'all oh, okay ooh, ooh, mascara ooh. okay so that is the softer side of smoky um, I think I'll finish. I should have started with a little cheek color, but you know what? I could just do that. I could do that and not worry about anything else because that's just the main focus. But since I do like a little cheek, I'm going to put a beautiful color called Style Frost. It's sort of a peachy, goldy cheek color. And that is going to be nice with this. Oh, and I'm using this adorable little brush. Look at that cute thing. I love this. This is a Bare Essentials brush. It's called Baby Bookie. How cute is that? And that is just, it's a great bristle. It goes on. It's very soft, but it's dense enough to apply the right amount of product. Also, when I'm picking it up, I'm doing, just pressing it, tap, tapping it in there, basically. And then I'm tapping the excess off, and then I'm going in up on the cheeks, and voila. The softer side of Smokey. There you have it. All right, thanks so much for joining. I'm sorry this has to be in two parts, but I will see you guys soon. Thanks for viewing. Bye.